What's up everyone? This weekend I'm camping at Smith Mountain Lake State Park in Virginia. I got here too late to show you guys around last night. It was dark by the time I was set up. Technically it was dark before I finished setting up, but I'll show you around later today. Uh, I just woke up making breakfast right now and I'm about to head out actually. I'm headed to Highbridge State Park, also in Virginia. I'm doing my first adventure race. So I'm a bit nervous because I've never done one before, but it's a virtual adventure race and it's supposed to be kind of easier. So I'm excited and nervous to do that today. It's supposed to be like an eight hour course. So it's probably gonna take up like the whole day, but I'll be sure to show you around when I get back. I'll have a full video on how my first attempt at an adventure race went up soon, but I thought I'd show you a bit of what I did all day. Once the race recap is up, I'll add the link up in the corner and in the description box down below. For those who don't know, adventure racing is typically multiple disciplines. This one had mountain biking and trekking, however paddling is usually included as well. The goal of an adventure race is to collect as many checkpoints as possible within the time limit, the faster time being the better. Since this was a virtual race, the checkpoints were done by GPS. And some of the easier ones included finding things such as an old piece of farm equipment or a cannon. I may or may not have repeatedly forgotten I was supposed to be racing because I got distracted by wildlife and mushrooms. So for dinner, I'm doing kind of like a bistro box thing. I have chocolate hummus, uh, apples, strawberries, raspberries, carrots, cucumbers, and uh, pecans. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm staying at Smith Mountain Lake State Park this weekend. I thought I'd talk about the campgrounds a little bit because when I tried to look up information, I couldn't find a whole lot. So it seems to be mainly an RV campground. There's definitely more RVers here than there are tent campers, but they do have tent specific sites and you can put up a tent at an RV site if you prefer. So some of their tent sites have a parking spot and some don't. Mine does not. It's like a walk-in site, but it's not a super far walk. I think tent sites like 22 through 34 maybe have a parking, uh, have a parking spot with them. The rest you might be able to see behind me. They're all just kind of, there's like a walking path to them. Um, they are kind of close together. If it were like a crowded weekend, I'd feel like I was very close to my uh, neighbors. There's a family like two tent sites away from me right now and I can hear them pretty well. So I feel like it could get a little noisy if there were a lot of people here, but it hasn't been too bad so far. All the tent sites seem to be about the same size. They all come with a picnic table spot for your tent, a pole to hang something from, and then a fire pit. There's also a good amount of trees, so like if I wanted to, I could put up a slack line over there. I have my hang hammock hanging up right there, and then that's my car, so you can see it's not a very far walk. After dinner, there was still a bit of daylight, but not enough to really explore anywhere else, so I decided to sketch for a bit. I started with a ballpoint pen and markers before realizing I forgot to refill my markers. Since I typically use ballpoint pens, I decided to play around with some pens and markers I don't typically use. And then I went back to ballpoints to remind myself I still can doodle mushrooms despite my previous attempts. If you're at all interested in gut health or your microbiome, I highly recommend this book.
also the majority of the time when I'm camping I leave early to go do things but the, the trail I want to go to today I'm pretty sure doesn't open till like 8 15 8 30 there's a gate that blocks it off so I'm actually taking a slow morning today at camp which means I get to make like a real breakfast so I'm making strawberry banana pancakes and I'm really excited so this is actually my first time using this frying pan I just got it I like it so far it's the jet boils something uh, pan it comes with a mini spatula which is so cool at least I think so I'm amused easily but they cook super fast they actually almost cook too fast and these are the gels that I usually use like when I'm out running or biking or whatever it's a natural type of gel it's maple syrup based this one's pure maple syrup so I'm gonna use it on my pancakes but usually if I'm running I use like a chocolate one or a raspberry I feel like raspberry would also go really good on this. They're definitely not the prettiest pancakes I've ever made, but they're really good. As much as I like that this little spatula fits into the handle of the pan, it did start melting immediately. So I started off the day with a quick trail run on the Turtle Island Trail. Unfortunately, I got distracted by the water and took a wrong turn, which ended up adding some extra distance to this run. When I'm exploring a new trail, I use the term run very loosely. I don't know if you can actually tell in the GoPro, but the water is ridiculously clear here. After my run, I took my paddleboard out to enjoy the water. I was really surprised at just how clear the water actually is here. I was able to see a ton of fish. Some of them were pretty good size, like over a foot long.
I was trying to paddle really gently to avoid scaring some nearby ducks. Does anyone else stick out their tongue while they're trying to focus? Does anyone else know why some people do this? fun to go under this bridge I ran over this morning. However, I didn't consider it might be too shallow until I got to it. After paddleboarding, it's time to head home. However, I stopped at Hungry Mother State Park to help break up the drive. the theme for this trail. This trail had absolutely no shade and was uphill like 99% of the time. Thank you for watching and don't forget to be always adventuring.